oh, oh, I forgot to uh, record. Uh, and the, the uh, and the system uh, res uh, the system impulse response of the system. So uh, such convolution is not easy to compute. Uh, we can see a lot of examples in in during the lectures and in your homeworks. So uh, if we can represent a periodic signal as a combination of the complex exponentials, then it will be uh, very easy for us to uh, determine the output of the uh, LTI system. So uh, this is the reason why we want to uh, learn and uh, calculate the Fourier series. Uh, we have uh, we have a routine procedure to calculate the uh, any arbitrary um, periodic signal x of t. It consists of three steps. The first step uh, identify the fundamental period t and uh, also the uh, fundamental frequency omega zero. Uh, it is two pi over t. And then uh, this is uh, uh, an, easy, uh, an easy step. And uh, the second step is to calculate the Fourier series coefficients um, for any uh, integer a k, uh, it is equal to one over t integral over a period of uh, t x of t exponential minus j k omega zero t dt. So this is the most in, uh, important step in when we calculate the Fourier series of, uh, uh, of a periodic signal. And it is uh, also the, uh, the most di difficult step. And then we represent x of t as the Fourier series. x of t equals uh, infinite sum a k exponential uh, j k omega zero t. So you uh, you should pay attention that when we calculate the uh, Fourier series coefficient, the exponential here uh, it has a minus uh, it has a minus sign, and here. Uh, it uh, doesn't have the minus sign. Uh, in other words, it is it has a, a plus sign. And we also uh, le learn some properties of Fourier Fourier series. Uh, the the original signal is x of t, and the time reversal of x of t it is x of minus t. Its, its Fourier series is shown here. Uh, the exponentials uh, do not change and the, uh, the coefficients is changed from a k to a minus k. And the time shifting x of t minus t zero, uh, we can see that the uh, the, the, the Fourier series coefficients uh, do not change. And, uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, the, 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 the exponentials do not change. The Fourier series uh, is changed from AK to AK times exponential minus JK omega zero, T zero. And time scaling, uh, X of alpha T, so the, the 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 coefficients do not change, and the uh, the exponentials is changed uh, to uh, j k alpha omega zero t. It means that the fundamental frequency is changed from omega zero to alpha times omega zero. Uh, 
Also, we have the property of linear combination. Uh, if we have two periodic signals, x of t and y of t, they have the same fundamental period and the fundamental frequency, then uh, their Fourier series are shown here. And the, the linear combination of x of t and y of t is z of t. Uh, their Fourier series uh, is shown here. And its Fourier series coefficients is just uh, the uh, the linear combination of the Fourier series uh, coefficients of the uh, the two original signals. So uh, these are the properties of uh, Fourier series, and uh, then we have learned the Fourier series in uh, in an LTI system. Um, if x of t is a periodic signal with a funda, uh, fundamental period t and the fundamental frequency is omega zero, then we pass the signal through an LTI system. Then we obtain an output signal. Uh, it also has a, a, a Fourier series and the Fourier series coefficients uh, is AK times H of JK omega zero. And the, the, the expression of uh, H of JK omega zero is an integral. Uh, this is called the frequency response. And it is the um, infinite uh, integral uh, h of tau exponential minus j omega zero tau d tau uh, h t or h tau here is the unit impulse response of the LTI system. And we can see that uh, the capital H does not uh, depend on t or tau. So, uh, these are uh, all the uh, knowledge you should know about the uh, Fourier series of uh, uh, continuous time signal. And the next, we will have some exercise. Uh, first, uh, uh, this problem is very similar to one problem in your homework. So I will give you uh, uh, three minutes or, uh, or two minutes to, to think about it and write the answer yourself.
Okay, let's look at the uh, the answer. Uh, first, we need to calculate the fundamental frequency of the periodic signal. Uh, we uh, we notice that oh oh I I forgot to uh, uh, to to mention here it is a a, a periodic signal with a period uh, two. Uh, uh, the the uh, the period uh, of this signal is two, and the uh, the fundamental uh, frequency is two pi over two is pi. And then we calculate the Fourier series coefficients. A k is equal to one over t. Uh, t here is two. Uh, the integral over uh, uh, a period. Uh, we choose the period from minus one to plus one, x of t exponential minus j k omega zero t dt. Then we substitute the, uh, the, the expression of x of t into this integral, and then we obtain the integral of exponential minus t uh, times exponential minus j k pi t dt. Then um, uh, the integral of an exponential signal is also an exponential signal, uh, but we need to add a factor in the denominator here. Then uh, we calculate the uh, the difference between the uh, the upper limit and the lower limit. Uh, so uh, we substitute uh, t equals one. We obtain the uh, exponential one plus j k pi, and then we substitute t equals minus one. Then we obtain the exponential minus one plus j k pi. Uh, oh, uh, then we have finished uh, calculating the Fourier series coefficients. Then we write the uh, the original signal x of t uh, in the form of the Fourier series uh, uh, infinite sum a k exponential j k pi t with a k above. Uh, 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 if you uh, if you finish the the, uh, the problem uh, up to now, it is it is okay. Then you will get a full uh, grade in this problem. But optionally, you can uh, you can further simplify a k. Uh, we see that uh, the, uh, this term. Exponential one minus uh, one plus j k pi. It is exponential uh, one times exponential j k pi. And uh, this term, it is exponential minus one times exponential uh, exponential minus j k pi. Uh, 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 the, the, uh, you should uh, uh, pay attention that exponential j k pi is uh, uh, is equal to exponential j pi. Uh, then uh, e to the power of uh, j pi, then to the power of k. Um, so e to the power of j pi is minus one and. Uh, this term it has a uh, it has a factor of e to the power of minus j pi. Uh, it is also uh, minus one. So uh, e to the power of j k pi and e to the power of minus j k pi, uh, they are, uh, the two terms are equal. So uh, they are all equal to uh, minus one to the power of k. So we can write it uh, here and uh, uh, in the front of the 
uh, numerator, and uh, then it is the exponential one minus exponential minus one. Then we write the exponential JK pi uh, as minus one to the power of K. So this you can simplify the, the Fourier coefficients uh, in this form. Okay, uh, the next problem. Um, I will also give you uh, uh, three minutes to, to think about it. Uh, if you like, you can type your answer in the chat window. Um, does anyone get the answer? Okay, let's uh, let's look at the the answer. Uh, first, uh, we uh, in a similar way, we need to first. Uh, uh, calculate the fundamental frequency of the periodic signal. Uh, we can see the period uh, the period of the signal is eight, and then the fundamental frequency is two pi over t is pi over four. Then we calculate the uh, Fourier series coefficients a k. Uh, a k is equal to one over t t is eight here, and uh, the, the integral over a period of length eight uh, from zero to eight, x of t exponential minus j k omega zero, omega zero is pi over four, t dt. Then we notice that the signal uh, has uh, has two cases when uh, the value of the signal has two cases uh, when t is larger than zero and smaller than four, xt is equal to one. When t is larger than four, 
and smaller than eight, x of t is equal to minus one. So we need to uh, split the, the integral into two parts. Uh, the first part, the, 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 the range of the integral is from zero to four. And the second part, uh, the range of the integral is from two to eight. Then we calculate the, the integral of the two parts we respectively. The first part, uh, the, uh, uh, the integral of an exponential signal is also the exponential signal. And we need to add an additional factor here. And then we calculate the, uh, the difference between the uh, upper limit and the lower limit. Um, it is the, uh, we substitute four into the T, we obtain exponential minus JK pi, and then we substitute T equals zero, we obtain exponential zero, it, which is one. So uh, this is the, uh, the result of the first uh, integral. And uh, the second integral, uh, the same uh, exponential, uh, the same integral of the, uh, the exponential signal, and uh, we just calculate a different, uh, a different uh, difference of between the upper limit and the lower limit. So we substitute t equals eight. Uh, we uh, we obtain exponential minus jk two pi, and then we substitute uh, t equals four, we obtain exponential minus jk pi. So uh, you can see from the, uh, from the, the, set, the third step, uh, there is a k in the denominator. So uh, this is only valid when k is uh, not zero. So we further simplify uh, these uh, expressions in the following step. So we, uh, we, we notice that exponential minus jk pi, it is equal to uh, minus one to the power of k. And uh, the denominator, we multiply them together, it is j two k pi and the uh, the minus sign is put uh, in the front of the uh, the term, and then this part exponential minus j k two pi uh, it is one and uh, exponential minus j k pi it is minus one to the power of k. So we can see that uh, 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 these terms are, uh, these two terms are the same. So if we uh, write this term as um, uh, here, we add a minus sign and then we change uh, the two terms in the, in the brackets into minus one to the power of k minus, uh, minus one, then they will be the same. So the final result is jk pi, uh, one over jk pi uh, times one minus, uh, minus one to the power of k. So uh, this is the case when k is not equal to zero. Then when k is equal to zero, a k is equal to uh, we use the uh, we use the integral in this step. Uh, there is there isn't a k in the denominator, so it is it is valid when k is equal to zero. So uh, when k is equal to zero, the exponential is equal to uh, exponential zero, it is one. 
and uh, this is also uh, is also one. So uh, the constant, uh, the integral of a constant is uh, is just the the constant time is the constant times the, the length of the, uh, the of the range of the integral. So this part it is four divided by eight is is one half, and this part is also four divided by eight. It is also one half. So ak is zero. So we write the uh, the, the Fourier series coefficient here. When k takes, uh, we can see that when k takes the value of uh, even numbers, ak is always zero. When k takes the value of odd numbers, it has the value of two over jk pi. So uh, uh, up to now, we have uh, finished the, uh, the Fourier series of the uh, of the periodic signal x of t. And then uh, we need to uh, cal calculate the, the frequency response of the, the system. We just uh, substitute the uh, k omega zero uh, with uh, omega here. So we can find that the, uh, the value of h of jk omega zero is sine k pi over k pi over four. Um, you can see that uh, for uh, all the k is not zero, uh, that is not zero, h of jk omega zero is zero, uh, but uh, so, uh, but uh, you you also find um, uh, pay attention that when k is zero, a k is zero. So a k times h of uh, j k omega zero is also zero. So uh, so y t is always zero. Uh, maybe you can uh, find that if we first uh, calculate the, uh, the frequency response of the signal and uh, the AK when K is zero, uh, you, uh, then you, you don't need to calculate the, uh, the other values with, of AK when K is not zero because h of j k omega zero is zero. So no matter what value uh, a k takes, uh, it doesn't uh, affect the final result. Uh, uh, somebody asks, when k is equal to zero, is the uh, is the h of k, uh, a, a is the, 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 the frequency response h undefined. Uh, okay, when k is, uh, when k is equal to zero, then k omega zero is zero, then uh, if you directly uh, substitute omega zero into this expression, then you uh, you may find that uh, the uh, uh, there is a zero term in the denominator. Uh, maybe it is uh, uh, it is undefined, but uh, you can also uh, calculate the limit of the uh, the term. The, uh, the, the, the numerator and the denominator are, uh, are both approaches zero when, uh, when omega approaches zero, then you can see that the, the, the limit of when omega approaches zero, this term is equal to four. 
uh, and you also can calculate the frequency response from the, the integral. Uh, if omega is equal to zero, we just substitute the, the zero here, then this exponential uh, is equal to one. Then we just need to calculate the integral of the uh, the, the infinite integral of the a, h of t. Then uh, you can also find the the, uh, the right answer. Okay, uh, let's look at the, another problem. Uh, I think maybe we don't have uh, enough time. So uh, uh, I think uh, uh, let me give you one minute to think about this problem. Okay, let's look at the, the problem uh, together. Uh, consider a continuous time ideal uh, low, pa low pass filter whose frequency response is shown here. Uh, it is just a definition, uh, the, 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 the low pass, uh, such kind of uh, frequency response is called the low pass filter. You will learn more about this uh, in the future la uh, lectures. When the input to this filter is a signal, x of t with fundamental period, t equals pi over six, and uh, the Fourier series coefficients, a k, it is found that x of uh, the output y, y of t is equal to x of t. Uh, so the question is, for what values of k is it guaranteed that a k is equal to zero? Uh, maybe it is a bit hard to understand. Um, so it is, uh, uh, it is just asking uh, if uh, the, the, the input signal is equal to output signal, uh, what condition uh, of a k sh should be guaranteed. So uh, we first we also uh, need to calculate the uh, fundamental uh, frequency of the signal. Omega zero is equal to two pi over t. It is twelve. Then uh, we need to. Uh, because the, the, the frequency response has, uh, has two parts. When the absolute value is smaller than 100 and the absolute value is larger than 100. So we need to, uh, we need to find the corresponding case uh, when the k omega zero is, uh, the absolute value of k omega zero is uh, smaller than 100 or larger than 100. So when it is smaller than 100, we find that the k, uh, the absolute value of k is smaller than n, 8. It means that the k takes the value from minus 8 to plus 8. So uh, for the value uh, uh, from, for the k from plus, uh, from minus 8 to plus 8, uh, the 
AK, uh, the, the, uh, the, the Fourier coefficients of uh, the input signal x of t uh, is AK. And then for the output of the, the signal, uh, the, the coefficients of the output signal, it is AK times H of J K omega zero. When K omega zero is smaller than 100, uh, H is uh, takes the value of one. So the Y, uh, the, the corresponding uh, Fourier coefficients of YT is automatically uh, equal to the value, uh, the coefficients of the X of T. So uh, we need to, uh, then we need to further consider when the, the absolute value of K is larger than eight, then uh, no matter what value AK takes, then uh, the frequency response is zero. Then the output, uh, the corresponding free uh, coefficients, uh, coefficients of the output is always zero. If we want y of t is equal to x of t, so we must guarantee that a k is equal to zero for k absolute value of k is larger than eight. So uh, this is the answer. And uh, next, oh, uh, next, uh, this is the problem about, uh, this is uh, irrelevant to the, uh, to the Fourier series. It is just a problem about the, uh, uh, the, 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 the integral in integration. Uh, this is very important. You must uh, get very familiar with the, the procedure to calculate the, uh, the integration. So I just uh, put a, a problem here. And I think you don't have time to do this problem yourself. So let's look at the problem together. Um, x of t is equal to, uh, this is the input signal x of t. Uh, it is equal to one when t is larger than zero and smaller than one. Otherwise, it is equal to zero. And h of, h of t is a time scaling of x of t. It is equal to x of t over alpha. Uh, alpha is uh, between zero and one. So, uh, so the uh, so we need to de uh, determine and sketch y of t. It is the convolution uh, between x of t and h of t. Um, so, if you want to uh, do well in the calculation of the uh, integral, uh, uh, the, the the convolution integral, you must. Uh, uh, you must be very familiar with the uh, time domain transformation. Uh, okay, uh, first, uh, the, you, you will do the time scaling of x of t. Uh, x of t is uh, like this. It is uh, just a, it is a platform shape signal. And uh, h of t, when alpha is, uh, is smaller than one, it is a con contraction of the original signal. So the original signal is between zero and one. Uh, the new signal is between zero and alpha. Uh, the height does not change. So this is X of T and this is H of T. So we need to calculate the convolution. Uh, uh, the con according to the definition of the con convolution, it is the infinite uh, integral x of tau times h of t minus tau d tau. Uh, so x of tau is plotted here, 
and then we need to calculate the, uh, we need to plot the h of p minus tau. Uh, th so this is uh, related to the time domain transformation. So this is the reason why I said, I said just now, uh, you must uh, get very familiar with it. Uh, H, uh, H of P minus tau, you first uh, do the time reflection, uh, and then you do the time shift. Uh, but, uh, and the T is a parameter determin determining the, uh, the location of the H of, uh, of the H of T minus tau. So we need to discuss H of T minus tau uh, in five cases. Uh, the first case when T is smaller than zero, then the multiplication of the two signal is always zero because either this signal or this signal is zero. So when T is smaller than zero, it is always zero and then when t is larger than zero and smaller than alpha, then we can see that only this part, uh, only when uh, uh, when tau is equal uh, is between zero and t, uh, it has a non-zero. Uh, the multiplication has a non-zero value, so uh, the integral becomes one because this signal times uh, this signal, uh, the result is one. Oh, here, uh, the integral uh, range is between zero and t. And then, uh, when h of t is uh, uh, in the range of between zero and one, then the integral upper limit, uh, or lower limit and upper limit becomes minus alpha plus t and t. And uh, when, when the, and then the fourth case, when t is larger than one and smaller than uh, one plus alpha, then only this part has a non-zero value. So uh, the range is between minus alpha plus t and one. So we calculate the, the integral of a constant number. We can easily obtain the final result. And then we plot the, uh, the, the output signal here. It is, uh, it is like this. And this is uh, all, uh, all about I want to talk about today. Uh, I see there is a question in the chat window. So the signal must be able to represent, uh, uh, be represented by a finite sum of exponentials. Uh, you mean, Uh, you mean this one? Uh, yes, when uh, the, 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 uh, the, the final condition is that the AK is equal to zero for K, for the absolute value of K is larger than eight. So only, uh, only when K, uh, absolute value of K is smaller than eight, it has a non-zero value. So as a result, it has only a finite, uh, it is a finite sum of the exponentials. Uh, yes, it is uh, uh, very time consuming to plot and uh, to calculate the integral and uh, 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 do the discussion and calculate the integral. Uh, but if you, uh, if you are familiar enough with the procedure, I think it is. I, th I think it is not that hard. So, uh, any other questions?
if no, we will end up here. Uh, um, okay, thank you. Uh, uh, see you uh, two weeks later. <laughs>